Welcome hoarders, they are going to be playing some more Grand Theft Auto 5 and this testing Tuesday we're going to be testing the Anus S80RR based on the Nissan um, R90C um, that's a very very difficult intro to remember um, but that's okay we got it for the first time out of 32 different tries um, I already did a um, a customization video of this uh, in case you guys are interested in seeing that um, that's on my channel you're gonna have to look for it I don't I usually don't remember to put the uh, the customization video at the end of this like at the end of the uh, video because I forget to um, but so far, I'm enjoying the car. I wish it was more not hitting people head on. Let's go somewhere it should never go. Um, I wish you could make it look more like the Nissan version of this car. Um, I mean, yeah, the body and stuff all looks right, but the delivery options, it's not very wide. Um... I feel like I might end up changing this back to the other one, but this is the closest to a real-life version of it that I could actually find. Um, as far as performance and stuff goes, acceleration is pretty good, top speed is pretty good, braking is pretty good. Um, handling is very, very loose. Um, it's you can steer pretty, pretty sharp without trying too hard. Um, other than that, there's really not much more to add to it, so, uh, let's make our way on over to the test track. Okay, I think that this should do very, very well on this track, um, considering it's pretty much in its own, like, natural habitat. <laughs> um, hopefully it should do well. Um, let's show the interior. I forget to do that with a lot of cars lately. Um, actually a very good first person, I must say. But you, with this, you do have to be careful with the steering, because it's so unbelievably easy to turn. Um, but I really don't know, um, because I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure this is mid-engine. Uh, rear wheel drive um, That's something that I forgot to uh, go over It definitely steers like a champ Stay real tight with the yellow line there. Usually I end up going like very wide. Because a lot of cars have understeer. And this really so far doesn't feel like it has much understeer. Feels like it's going to be oversteery more than anything. But it's very, very well balanced also. It was good that I could go through that turn flooring it. Um, that means we have tons and tons of grip. Didn't even have to slow down there. Okay, on to the last straight. Feels like a relatively quick time, actually. We're probably going to get a one, 108. I'm thinking, or 208, not a 108. No, 204 something. Uh, what was it? 204.424. Um, not really sure how quick that is. I know it's a quicker time, um, but let's go to the leaderboard and see where we placed. On the test track, the Anis S80RR. Finished in ninth place at 2 minutes 4.424 seconds. A very, very good car. Um, a very, very good time. Uh, like I said, it handles very, I shouldn't say loosely, but it 
it's really sensitive to turning. Like, if you move the joystick just slightly, it's going to be able to make pretty much a full turn. Um, it is a quick car. I would, after this test, recommend it. It is an expensive car. I believe it was like 2.6 mil is what it ended up being. I think it's 2.57 um, but still, that's not a cheap car. Um, and all, there's other ones that are not as expensive as that that are faster. So it really depends on your preference. Um, my preference is I'm going to keep it pretty much as a show car anyway. Um, it's not really my type of vehicle. If it was the fastest vehicle I've tested... I would definitely set it up, um, like buy another one, not put bulletproof tires on it, um, not put armor on it to make it lighter and a little bit quicker, more agile, all that stuff, um, just so you can get that little bit of advantage. But it wasn't that good, so I'm not going to be using it for that. Um, but now let's head on over to the drag track and see what we can get over there. Okay, now for the easy test. The one that you pretty much cannot mess up. I did mean to change the uh, roll cage to black. I just forgot to turn it to black. Because for some reason, midway while customizing this car, my game... Or I got... I lost connection in the PlayStation Network for some reason. And I forgot to do that again. This car is so low to the ground. Like, it goes into the ground while driving. Didn't want to hit that pillar. Okay, we got 23.456 seconds. I'm not really sure how quick that is, so let's head on over to leaderboard and see where we placed. On the drag track, the Anis S80RR finished in 26th place. At 23.456 seconds. Um, not as good in a straight line. I suspect that the handling's the thing that really makes this vehicle so much better. Because it has massive amounts of grip and downforce to be able to make it around those turns going really quickly. Um, but the acceleration and the top speed are not good enough to get this to be really fast in a straight line. Um... But you can make up your own decision with whether you want to buy it or not. Yet again, it, it's expensive. Um, it's a cool-looking car. It's a fun car. Um, it is only a one-seater, though. Um, but uh, post in the comments down below of a vehicle you'd like to see me test in the next episode of Testing Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. And if you did enjoy the video, check out one of my previous, next, and related videos, and don't forget to check out my social medias in the description down below.